Good evening. I'm Roger. It takes gumption, luck, and a bohemian spirit for one to emerge a legend from the churning current of time. I should know as arbiter of history, chronicler of legend, and lord of time. Humans strive to achieve immortality through heroic deeds in the short time their feeble flesh vessels roam the earth. Why else would we build the pyramids, the Great Wall, or the Cross Bronx Expressway? Today's tale is one of a man who spread his seed so far and wide he gives Genghis Khan a run for his money. A man whose fruit bore a legend so famous you might think him more myth than man. Of course, I'm talking about Johnny Appleseed, the goblinesque religious simpleton who spread alcoholism across America. Flushing these days, that's new. Hey, do you wash your hands? Oh yeah, I love clock jokes. Yeah, they never get old. Just like us. <clears throat> Today's episode is about Johnny Appleseed, a man who many folks think is made up, like Paul Bunyan or the Scat Man, but they couldn't be more wrong. Kind of like you, Clocko, about the best Backstreet Boy or my weight. Uh, Howie and 3,000 pounds. Lucky guess. Anyway, Johnny Appleseed was a real guy. And much like the Backstreet Boys toured our country, spreading songs written by a reclusive Swede, a man by the name of John Chapman fruited our country's plains with his beloved trees. I love a sweet, innocent story about a very possibly mentally ill man. Our ideas of sweet and innocent differ irreconcilably. It's time for Clocko's Question Corner! What percentage of the apples you've eaten in your life were likely grown from an apple seed? That's right, zilch! See, the type of juicy, crisp apples that you're currently rotating in your mind palace? Well, they're almost exclusively grown from grafting a bit of an apple tree onto a donor root. Throwing an apple tree from a seed, on the other hand? Well, that's a great way to get a bunch of nasty little gremlin apples that I wouldn't feed to my worst enemy. That's me! Unless you've been scrabbling around your neighbor's yard eating crab apples like a sick raccoon, you've probably never bitten into an apple grown from a seed. And for good reason. I have. So, every apple eaten in the 1800s just tasted like absolute dog eggs? No! But, Johnny Appleseeds did. To find out why, let's hear from the man himself. Ooh. <gasps> yeah. Oh, hello, fellow traveler. Will you have fresh news straight from heaven? Welcome to our homestead. I'm not interested in heaven. He really did greet people that way, and he really did dress that way. That's a fact. Two pairs of jeans, burlap sack, pot on his head, the whole nine yards. What's that pot all about? Now, John John, my man, what is your religion? Oh, I am Sweden Borgian. They keep making new Muppets and I just can't keep up. And how do Swedenborgians feel about grafting trees? Can't do it! Cause his paint is a trees. So trees are perfect. God made the trees. Can't hurt a tree. That's not gonna work here, this is mostly linoleum. Anywho, the actual use of Johnny's many horrible apples was unimaginable gallons of hard apple cider. Oh, people do not like my apples, but they like my trees and my companionship. Especially given that water wasn't always clean. Frontier settlers were throwing back hard apple ciders like it was a college orientation after party. So, Pale Delicious over here, well, he wasn't propping up the bottom of America's food pyramid. He was planting booze trees all across the Midwest. He was halfway between a wandering druid and a beer rep. Okay, okay, enough with the seeds. What do you think you're doing? Planting. There's no natural light in here. Big sun. That's gonna be hard to explain to you. Why did I think he was a fun little man who sang and danced with birds? Oh, well that's all Disney. You see, they had to spruce him up a bit. The real Johnny Appleseed wasn't nearly as fun as a cartoon. My God says I have to wait until marriage for sex. See? You might be a sexless zealot, but I think it's nice that you planted so many trees and made America beautiful. Clocko, you innocent, sugar-brained child. Johnny was no hippie, he did it for the cash. Oh. It's simple frontier math. 
Frontier law states that you can have 100 acres if you establish a permanent homestead. Now, it needs 50 apple trees to make a homestead. Trees take 10 years to grow. The trees are perfect. God made the trees. Can't hurt the tree. Okay, all right, we're, we're stuck in a Swedenborg in God loop. The point is, Johnny would run out ahead of the settlers and plant some trees, giving them a head start on the 10 year growing period, and they would pay top dollar for every single tree. I'm rich as fuck. Then why are you wearing that awful outfit? Well, Clocko, not all rich people dress well. Michael Jordan's a billionaire and he dresses like Doug Funny. Will you and your abomination have news straight from heaven? Look what he's Man, doing to our fortress. Okay, that's... For you. Thank you. Yeah, I think more is not the answer, but I'm going to spend some time cleaning this up. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. Goodbye. Do we have a Roomba with a knife? <laughs>